Okay, so here we are, day five. Um, still some swelling. And I uh, woke up this morning and the swelling was worse than I had expected. Um, but I think a lot of it was just that way I slept. I slept on my side last night. Uh, instructions did say make sure I sleep with just one pillow. Try and keep myself at a, a level place, but I couldn't sleep that way very comfortably. So I switched over to my side, slept on my side last night, woke up, face was pretty puffy, pretty bad. It's gone down a little bit now, still a little bit swollen. It doesn't hurt, it's not painful, nothing like that. Uh, positive note, I can feel hair and that's making me very excited. I can feel hair in the back. Uh, I can also feel that everything's kind of scabbing up a little bit, but that's why I have the uh, um, Hair Medica Infusion Scalp Cream. So I told you before, right before bed, put a little bit of that on. Uh, it also keeps the scabbing from kind of getting all dry and, and, and take away from the scarring. Because um, if you have scabs, obviously, and you peel the scabs off, it always is going to leave a little bit of a scar, which you don't want. So you put a little bit of that on. Um, the other thing I haven't mentioned yet is washing your hair. Um, it's a little bit more tricky uh, because obviously you can't scrub where you've got the grafts in. So here's the trick. Get yourself a nice little bucket or a cup. Uh, fill it full of the shower water. Wash yourself normally in the shower. You normally would. Get your shower water. Uh, use it into the bucket. Just put your head down. Pour the bucket of water. Get your hair wet. Don't need to rub it or anything. Just make sure you pour enough water on there to get it wet. Then you use your... Uh, Shampoo spray, the Hair Medica Infusion Shampoo Spray. Like I said, I got this stuff after the fact because it, it really does help. I do recommend that if you do get these procedures, these three products at least are a necessity. So get your shampoo spray, give it a little bit of spray, let it sit for a little bit, a couple seconds, not a long period of time or anything, 10, 20 seconds, let it soak in. Take your bucket again, rinse it out, you're good to go, hair feels clean. Uh, I have been doing it for the last few days, so you can do it. I'd, I'd wait probably at least 48 hours before you do it just to make sure everything's got a good uh, nice firm hold because the pressure of the water might knock out some grafts and stuff that's what the instructions said for me that's what I did it's worked out well but uh, like I said and then also of course you got your other spray uh, I like to spray this on at night too as well too because it does keep um, the scabbing down on the top and the itching has actually calmed down quite a bit so positive notes uh hair i can feel hair when i touch my head i've been doing it all day run my hand on my head can feel the hair coming in uh feels nice hair on the back growing back in nice and fuzzy swelling definitely a, a negative I, I said yesterday take a few days off probably wouldn't hurt to take a week off of work if you can afford to do it take a week off uh just make sure you get nice and healed up before you go back to work that's it for today, and I'll see you again tomorrow.